buckle up as the team takes on the Knight Rider. I just hope the car still works when I get my turn. Adam and Jamie ask, can you ramp it up on the highway? Incredibly, Adam and Jamie have had reason to doubt the Hoff. They're questioning the signature stunt from his Knight Rider days. Can you really drive up the ramp of a moving big rig, or is it a mythical maneuver? To find out, they followed Cary Grant and Tory to the Madras test track in Oregon. So we've already done this test in small scale in the shop, and the small scale test really made it clear that this might actually be feasible, that the car's inertia would keep it from doing what we thought it might do in the worst case scenario, which is to shoot up that ramp and like right into the big rig in a terrible wreck. So we've come here to try it out full scale and see if we can do it safely. It's a simple recipe. Take one big rig, one 1980s sports car, and ramp them up at highway speeds. And not just any ramp. Adam and Jamie have custom built their own. After all, it's their lives at stake. And not an inch to spare. The ramp seems like it's perfect. It seems to be just long enough to do the job and uh, not really hit much on the car. It does a little bit, but uh, it seems like it clears everything just barely. So I think we're good to go. We're hoping to get up to highway speeds, but we're going to start slow. 30, 35 miles an hour is what the first test is going to be at. If that works, then we go to 55. The question now is, who will be first in the driver's seat? If Adam doesn't die during this experiment, or maybe if he does, then uh, you know I'll have to have a go. But uh, at any rate, uh, Adam will be the first uh, guinea pig, and if it seems OK, I'll go in. So Adam, the human guinea pig, suits up for the 35 mile an hour run. And with just one successful bench test and a 1980s TV show to go on, they're taking no chances with safety. There's still a lot that can go wrong, which is why we've done a bunch of safety procedures to make this as safe as possible. One, we've added a roll cage into this car. Two, we've added a five point safety harness so that if I roll, I'm not going anywhere. And finally, I'm wearing a helmet. This is it, test time. Gentlemen, start your engines. But just as they get underway, it starts raining, making the road and ramp slick, and the challenge just that little bit tougher. While Adam is driving up into the back of this truck, hopefully, I'm going to be driving right alongside with Mike, who will be coaching Adam in case he sees something going wrong. Adam accelerates, approaching his target speed. We're at 25, going to 30. We're at 35 miles an hour. He takes his time getting precisely in line with the ramp. And when he's close enough, Mike gives him the cue. OK, let's go for it. Look at that. Well done. Well done. The high-speed camera captures the crucial moment. As the wheels hit the ramp, they slow down significantly, which is where the clever science bit comes in. Any object in motion has a tendency to maintain a constant velocity. This law of inertia acts against the acceleration of the car as it hits the stationary ramp, slowing the car to a crawl and giving Adam plenty of time to stop. That worked beautifully! That was a cinch! That was so easy! Which means there's only one thing for it. They're going the whole hop. I feel like I'm ready to go to 60. Well, let's make it 55. That's the legal speed limit, I think, on these things. Perfect. Let's do it. All right. Making it safely up that six-foot gap at 55 miles per hour is a tougher proposition than 35. And the rain is coming down harder. Let's do it. Adam guns the engine and hits the speed ceiling quickly. We're at 55 right now. Jamie and Mike are once again in support. Unless he crashes, and then he's on his own. Look at that! Good job! <laughs> once again, Adam made it look easy. The increased velocity didn't change a thing. The wheels hit the ramp, the car's inertia prevents any crazy acceleration, and Adam parks it. Nice, man. Good oh, job. That was great. Awesome. Dude, that was scary. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, I, I was a little nervous there watching you do that. With the myth confirmed, there's only one thing left to do. 
it's Jamie's turn. This is Jamie. I'm good to go. Over. And he's going to prove that whatever Adam can do... Holding. ...he can do backwards. <laughs> nice work, Heinemann. Move over the Hoff. The Heinemann is here. So the truck ramp night rider sequence all worked like a charm. I mean, we were able to do everything we tried to do. Absolutely. You know, one of the things I love most about doing this show is the weird skills we get to learn, like stunt driving. I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to use it next, but uh, it's nice to know how to do. Exactly. And uh, the night rider ramp drive up, totally confirmed. It worked. Confirmed. <laughs>